Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I am finally doing a larger painting again. This is admittedly not that large, but it's a lot bigger than the paintings I've been doing recently. I had a, I don't want to say inspired, but I finally have a painting idea that I have a lot of emotional connections to and something that I've done some background research for to have all these little elements tie into things in my life. I don't know if I'm ready to talk about explicitly what the painting's about yet, um, but maybe you can interpret it once you see the finished product. But I've pulled up all my reference pictures on my computer and I think I'll print out a few. Um, but I am ready to start this large painting and very excited. It's no surprise that I spend a lot of time alone in my studio. I find myself needing music, a podcast, or a show playing in the background, so I'm never left alone with my thoughts for too long. This constant need to be distracted admittedly cannot be healthy, so as I sat alone thinking of what to talk about in this vlog, I finally let my mind wander. Why am I scared of where my train of thoughts will lead me? Most likely because they'll lead to events in my life that I've not yet resolved, or issues I haven't worked out completely in my mind. Some truths are easier to not face at all. For a while now, I've been painting things solely for practice to improve my skills. There hasn't been a deeper meaning or personal connection to many of my artworks in the past year. And I think that was good for me, to get a lot of paintings out of the way quickly, but I'm starting to consider the value in using my art to examine some of the issues I've been trying so hard to banish from my head. It can be debated for hours whether art needs to have a deeper meaning, but I think the real question artists should be considering is does my art need to have a deeper meaning? And for me, for the time being, I think mine does, and I'll share why in this vlog.
A deeper meaning in artwork is subjective, right? And doesn't always have to be about super serious or sad topics, of course. There are a lot of emotions that play significant roles in people's lives that can be connected to through art. In fact, I think the ability of people to interpret art in different ways as it relates to their own experiences is a beautiful thing. Sometimes it's better when artists don't state precisely what their work is about for them and allows the viewer to come to their own conclusions. This idea is what finally allowed me to start making this artwork and to not worry about having to talk about the true meaning for me when I don't think I'm ready to share those ideas and thoughts verbally and publicly. But now I've got a healthier, cathartic way to confront these emotions that I've tried to ignore for a while. Blueberry one was better. Oh, definitely. This one's still pretty good. We might have to get another one. Yeah. <laughs> Right. 
have to finish the background and then her dress and fix her hands which are giving me so much trouble because I'm trying to not make them too detailed so that they're not like a focal point but then trying to make them look like hands still. So that'll be fun. Hopefully I get it on this second try. I just got a haircut too so I feel like a new person. From a purely process-wise standpoint, having a deeper meaning behind this painting allowed me to get into a flow state of creating much easier. Because I felt so connected to the piece and the figure I was painting, I mean it, it sounds crazy, but I could feel myself putting those emotions I was trying to convey in my brushstrokes. They might not technique-wise be the best, but I feel like they express my feelings better than a perfect brushstroke would have. It also helped me create a background environment and composition with purpose. The design and planning process of this piece came together easier because each element meant something in my mind. Beautiful, clear designs are so important to me in all areas of my life, including my online store on Squarespace, the sponsor of this video. They are an all-in-one website platform that helps entrepreneurs and creatives like yourself create beautiful websites and succeed online. My favorite thing about Squarespace are their flexible website templates. I used one to build my online store and it was almost too easy to customize my site to look exactly how I envisioned with fonts, colors, and a gallery page. My online store is the most important part of my website and I love how simple it is to see my prints in big pictures and track things like inventory, shipping cost, and taxes. Lastly, Squarespace makes it so easy to sell custom merch or art prints with print-on-demand options where inventory, production, and shipping are all handled for you. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ashley King to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So no, not all art needs to have a deeper meaning, but I feel like mine does right now. Creating this painting has led to other ideas for paintings to further explore this issue, and I'm excited about the idea of finally having a collection of paintings that revolve around the same theme. This isn't to say that I'll never make another painting again just for fun or as a study, but I'm looking forward to this new discovery I've made about myself as an artist. Thanks for sticking around while I figure this all out.